here. I hope you... Hi, Squeaks. What's going on? Whoa. No way. You saw what? That's amazing. Squeaks was just saying that he saw a really strange insect today. He said it was a black beetle that was pushing a big ball of dirt. Oh, do I know what it is? Well, I think I do, and you're never going to believe it. The insect you saw was a dung beetle. Dung beetles are, well, they're a kind of beetle. Like other insects, beetles have six legs and two pairs of wings. But beetle wings are kind of strange. One pair is hard and sturdy, and it covers the back part of their bodies like a shield. Then underneath them is a second pair of wings that the beetles flap to fly around. Beetles are one of the biggest groups of animals. There are more than 350,000 kinds of beetles around the world. That's right, Squeaks. That's a huge number. Now, beetles in general are cool, but dung beetles are especially cool. They're a specific kind of beetle, and they live all over the world, on every continent except Antarctica. And most of them are pretty small, not more than a few centimeters long. Dung beetles come in all kinds of colors, from black to shiny green and they have body parts that you can use to tell them apart from some other beetles. Like, they have horns on the front of their heads. Dung beetles use these horns to fight each other for things like food or to fight over a mate, which is someone they want to have babies with. Dung beetles also have strong wings, which they use to fly around looking for, well, again, food. And finally, dung beetles have really strong legs. In fact, they're some of the strongest animals in the world for their size. I know, Squeaks, I haven't forgotten about that ball you saw your dung beetle pushing around. Do you have any ideas about what it was? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't dirt. Hmm, mud is a good guess, but mud is just wet dirt and soil. I'll give you one more hint. Think about why dung beetles might be called dung beetles. Exactly! That ball you saw the beetle pushing was made of dung. And dung is just another word for poop. When a dung beetle is flying around looking for food, it usually isn't looking for seeds or fruit, which are foods lots of other animals eat. Instead, it's looking for poop from bigger animals, like cows. When a dung beetle is exploring, it might come across a big pile of poop from a cow. And when it finds one, it will take some of that poop form it into a nice round ball, and then roll it away. Oh, great question, Squeaks, because you're right. Touching poop isn't something we should do because it has all sorts of germs that could get us sick. So what are dung beetles doing with cow poop? Well, lots of things. Once they have a dung ball, they roll it over to the tunnels where they live. And once they're there, they might bury the ball to save it for later or a female dung beetle might lay her eggs in the ball, kind of like how birds lay their eggs in nests made of sticks and grass. But the biggest thing dung beetles do is eat that poop. They suck the liquids out of the dung ball, and that's their biggest source of food. <laughs> I see your point, Squeaks. Eating poop isn't something we should do. It's not good for humans or robot rats. But dung beetles have been doing this for millions of years, so they don't get sick from it. In fact, they get all sorts of good nutrients from the poop. Nutrients are things like vitamins and minerals that help living things grow. If you've ever heard about vitamin C in oranges or calcium in milk, those are nutrients. Your body uses those things to help build bones and muscles and to keep your whole body healthy. And animals like cows and dung beetles need nutrients too. Animals like cows get their nutrients from eating plants like grass, but sometimes their bodies aren't able to get all the nutrients out of their meals. So some of those good vitamins and minerals travel straight through their bodies and end up in their poop instead. And that's when dung beetles show up. By eating poop, they get all the nutrients the bigger animals missed out on, and that keeps them healthy. They actually depend on the cows to poop so that they can get their food. This is also why female dung beetles lay their eggs in poop. When the eggs hatch, little larvae crawl out of them. They crawl right onto the poop so that they have a meal waiting for them as soon as they're born. Wow, thanks for asking, Squeaks. I'm so glad we got to talk about dung beetles today. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time here at the fort.